So I would like to invite three of you to give us some final remarks about uh, how can we build a uh, market-driven innovation and become uh, stronger for the next 10 years. So would you please just give us some final remarks. I think you're on a very good start. And it's really been a pleasure for me to uh, be a part of this meeting today and to hear your questions and to share some ideas um, from the programs that I'm involved with. From what I've heard, I think there's great potential for um, collaboration among yourselves. You know each other. You're known entities and, and on that basis you have an up, uh, the basis for trusting each other. And trust is very important when the partnership is involved because if you're depending on an, another player, you want to count on the fact that they are going to do what they say that they're going to do when they say they're going to do it or let you know uh, about the change that's happening. And so that's a very strong strength. I think that um, the culture that you have uh, in Taiwan is has a, a, a lightness to it that I think uh, can go with the agility that's needed for the future. And meetings like today in which you're imagining the future and um, thinking about the same future that you're going to be a part of uh, are wonderful steps toward that. Um, it would be my pleasure to collaborate with you on imagining a future and on a collaborative discovery um, that neither of us could do alone, but that together would benefit both of us. Um, yes, there's the um, network. Uh, yes, there's the agility and um, the speed and the executional capabilities that I would also say uh, are, are extraordinary in the Taiwanese market. There's a great culture of entrepreneurship as well. Uh, these are all very, very positive things. Uh, but I think the reality is also that there are a few um, additional skills that are now just needed if you want to be a international and global player. And there are certain skills that you will also need uh, if you want to capitalize on these huge opportunities of the Chinese market and, and other emerging markets. And I believe these uh, skills relate very, very much to um, consumer insight. I think uh, companies in Taiwan are too much focused just on the technology. You need the technology, you need the latest innovation, you need the engineering orientation, you need the quality. But you also increasingly in many, many businesses, we talked a lot about the electronic business, but it's also true in, in all sorts of other businesses, in services as well. You need to understand consumers and consumer lifestyles. I mean, that's what CCC is really about, to bring together the competence, the engineering uh, uh, competence, the technical skills with the lifestyle uh, understanding of how people want to live their lives of how Chinese consumers want to live their lives, Taiwanese consumers, other Asian consumers, the world. Uh, so in a way, you are like this company that I mentioned earlier, Unilever, that tries to understand, you know what, what, what you know, we are in the beauty business, what, what is beauty? Not just coming up with the latest technology and put them in the moisturizers and into the creams, but stepping back for a moment and saying, you know, what do people really, really want? What does it mean for them to, um, to to use uh, technology as part of their daily lives when they are when they are moving around, when they are at home, when they are at work. What does it mean for uh, how people want to travel? What does it mean for how people uh, want to make sure that they are insured uh, that you know throughout their lives and, and that their family will be able to have a, a sense of trust and a sense of peace of mind? What does that mean for people? And does it mean different things now than it used to mean? Uh, I think that is, is, a, is a skill that, uh, that Taiwan needs in order to be internationally competitive, in order, in order to be, uh, in the future, world class. Uh, I have a very good confidence on our innovation capability, especially for the young generation. Okay, that's number one. But the innovation direction in the future have to be marketed 
market driven because that create more more value. If we have this kind of capability, the professor based question about you know challenge for survival will be disappear. Okay, we because if we have that kind of capability to our innovate innovation capability is invest in the right direction, application, market driven, not for brain company, ODM, OEM. We can do for our future, you know, create our own value. And actually, CCC is looking for provide a platform to develop those competence for the industry in Taiwan, manufacturing and the service industry. I think the, we are we have a responsibility to establish a good platform for the young generation to uh, uh, realize their unlimited of potential. Thank you. And uh, for today's summit, we we are not telling you how to do and what to do. Because um, here, the purpose is actually changing people's mindset. Um, for how to do it, that really depends on you. Other than the two tips, Professor Russell just gave us uh, the two pizzas and uh, jazz band. Those are the tips. But uh, I will, we are not trying to lead you to a certain direction. But we want everyone here to change your mindset. And also, we believe as long as you, uh, for the representative here, um, you actually represent a healthy company, not just for survival. So we do know we have the future. And today, um, no matter what we are talking about here, I believe you have learned several things. One is that always spare your time to think about future, think about the big questions. And uh, even though we may not be as rich as some other companies can join Media X or not as big as uh, Unilever. However, we can set up our own ecosystem, our own innovation ecosystem. We would like to be a group to help each other and find out our, our own direction and our own model to build up the, the innovation, innovative future. So that's why we have CCC and we want to be the platform to help Taiwanese companies. So. Um, Today is just the beginning. We want to have the brighter future. And thank you, three, that all here. And thank you all for, uh, for your participation. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Bia. Thank you, Mr. Xi. Thank you, uh, Dr. Russell and Professor Schmidt.